What's up guys? What's going on? Camp out coming at you with a uh, review. Uh, the box is a dead giveaway to what's inside of it. But uh, as you can see, Bait, Deodora, Skeletor, Masters of the Universe. Uh, so they dropped a couple of different shoes based off of movie stuff. You had the Shrek joints, uh, Where's Wally, which wasn't a movie, but regardless. Um, what else is in there? Uh, yeah, some of uh, uh, the Kung Fu Panda joint, whatever. Anyway, this is probably my favorite colorway, even though it's very reminiscent of the Hannon 25th anniversary. But uh, it is Deodora, so you're going to get a little better quality than you got from Hannon. But let's go over the box. So the box, as you can see, has all that uh, bait branding. You got Master Universe on the bottom or the uh, outside of the box. Underneath, same thing again as the top part of the box, just with a little less branding. And uh, front portion, same deal. Let's see, we got the size over here. So we got purple. I don't even know what it says, USA 10, uh, which is probably a UK 9.5. They covered up because uh, US shops have a tendency to go by that size, even though it does say UK. So if you're picking up a Deodora from any store and you give them your size, make sure that they give you the US size and not the UK size. I see it all the time. And then people come back like an hour later, like, oh, I got the UK size, not the US size. So be, just be very weary of that whenever you're picking up any kind of Deodora from the States. Anyway, let's get into here. So you got some paper, you got Skeletor all over the paper. Paper, Deodora Bait, Master Universe. If you guys haven't seen the movie, I'll throw a little clip up uh, while I'm talking. But uh, even the cartoon was super fire. But the movie is definitely my favorite. Dolph Lundgren at his best. He is the master of the universe. Anyway, I'm going to close this up. Get it off to the side. Uh, I didn't really do too much blogging or too much blog information for this shoe, so I'm just going to get into the review. Uh, I got some lights on. I used the white background to let the shoe pop a little bit more, but it's pretty simplistic. I originally thought that all the blue areas were going to be leather, but it is a very nice brushed suede. Very, very nice touch. I, I'm a fan of being all suede, so I have no problem with that. Uh, a couple of leather hits on the liner, on the inside, the top of the tongue, uh, and it looks like that's about it. This is my first time really looking at the shoe. Oh, and the uh, Deodoro logo has got that blue leather. That's about it for leather on their shoe but let's get into it so lateral side you got this deep purple towards the toe capping and uh it's really nice it, it's fucking really buttery i i like the way it they uh executed very well so i don't know if you can see the brush strokes on there but if you get the shoe in hand this is very very nice and it's like a shorter hair suede on the uh the toe box area which is very smooth so all this perforated area is all short hair suede which is really nice and you have a little bit longer or uh, a little bit more nap in the purple areas which is really cool it has like a velvet feel to it almost that's how uh that's how much hair it has on it but it, it's really nice anyway so toe capping you got that purple it leads into the uh the mid portion on the lateral side leading into the heel counter all purple the underlay on the deodora logo has got that Looks like it's that same brush suede again on the underlay of the Deodoro logo. Very clean, short hair in the perf across the rest of the shoe. I'm sorry for my phone going off. Uh, you got short hair on the blue, no perf towards the grommet area, wrapping all the way around and up. You got that perf again on the uh, the bottom portion of the tongue, but I'll finish doing the lateral side, medial, and then we'll get into the tongue a little bit more. My phone is going crazy for some strange reason. But you got a little N9000 branding on the uh, heel portion leading into the heel counter area. Uh, uh, for uh, Deodora N9000. They usually throw that in there somewhere. Uh, all white midsole, which is pretty clean, gives the rest of the shoe a nice pop if you're looking at it this way. Uh, Deodora debossed on here, as always, with the N9000 rolling into the heel counter. It's completely purple across the entire thing. The only thing I hate about this brush brush soft suede is that like leaving it in the box and even transporting it to you, all that rubbing back and forth always leaves some kind of markage. It has nothing to do with quality control. This is just being inside of the box. So if you get a pair and it kind of looks like that, I don't know if you could see it too well but right there that little circle area that's definitely from being inside the box just gets flattened it gets pressed it is what it is nothing you could really do about that but you got a one little uh nylon hit across the top here in this white stretch which is fine once again up top you got sh soft short hair purple suede on the upper portion of the heel counter again like i said before you got a purple leather liner which is pretty clean rolling into the medial side mirrored from the lateral side so I'll turn this guy down so you can see what I'm talking about. Exactly the same toe capping towards the mid portion, purple with that very high brush suede, good nap. Uh, short hair with the blue going across all that perforated area. So one, two, three, four, and five, all perf, all short hair, all nice. Same thing with the short hair on the grommet on the inside or the medial side. You got your, uh, your last two grommets like most shoes, a hard plastic up here. That's on both sides as well, mirrored, like I said. Uh, once again, the Deodoro logo's got that blue leather again. It's pretty soft. 
I mean, Diodoro kills it with the quality, so I, I'm always a fan of that. Um, and uh, if you guys are worried about the sizing, I, I go a half a size down at least with N9000. It's the only model that I go that much down on. Uh, it says a US 10. I wear a 10 and a half, 11, depending on, but obviously the shoe runs big, so I'm going with a 10 and it fits right to the toe. So if you're worried about it, at least go a half a size. If you want a little bit of room, if you want a lot of room, obviously just stay true to size and you'll get that definitely. But if you want to fit it a little snug, you have to gauge your own foot because I have, you know, most people have one foot that's bigger than the other, so I gauge by my bigger foot. My left foot is a size 11 and uh, the 10 US fits perfect right to the toe, so I have no problems with that. Uh, continuing with the rest of the the review here we got like I said mirrored from the lateral side so medial side you got the rest of the um, the long hair purple suede going across all the portions that are on the lateral side which is fine we finished off all the perf areas and we'll get into the tongue real quick so you got a looks like a deep purple rope lace that are that's in there like I said you got that perf suede going all the way up the tongue leading towards the outer portions of it you have n9000 across the front here Diodora across the top obviously uh, the footbeds do have some quite colorful things going on. So you got Skeletor, Master of the Universe in this 82 jersey. Pretty clean. I'm sure there's some kind of symbolism to this, but I did not look it up. So I'm sorry about that. Maybe I'll uh, I'll find a blog post and put it in the description so you guys could uh, at least read up on it before I throw the video up. I just wanted to get the review done because I want to review something else as well. Uh, it's a little personal thing of mine. But you got this little hang tag on the uh, right shoe. Skeletor on there. I'm going to pull that off, obviously. I don't really see that much bait branding except for the footbed. I thought maybe they would switch it off on the shoes. Maybe even get like the, uh, the other shoe to have bait across the N9000. But I guess... Eh, whatever you got a little bait branding across the footbed like I showed you over here. Might as well just pull this one back out. So you got Diodora Bait, Master of the Universe. It's a nice little look and you got some extra laces in these bad boys as well so you got a light blue this phone is like out of control my bad uh so you got a light blue rope lace and you got a purple and yellow rope lace which is the one i've seen everybody throwing in the shoe um i'm probably gonna do the same i might hmm white lace might not look bad in here We'll see. I'll, uh, I'll see if I got a lace, uh, a white flat lace laying around somewhere that I could throw in this bad boy just to see what the differential looks like. But even the light blue wouldn't be bad. Even though the light blue really doesn't match up too well with the shoe. So that might not be the best look. So it's either going to be this, the ones that came in there, the uh, deep purple rope, the purple and yellow rope, or white flats. Oh, last but not least, this is probably my favorite part of the shoe. It's a translucent purple outsole. So as you can see there, you can partly see the white midsole through the purple translucent. Very clean, nice little touch, uh, definitely a good look. Uh, I didn't realize it even did that until I pulled it out of the box, so it's definitely pretty cool. I, I'm really liking this material too, definitely on point. Um, definitely a good, good, good pickup, solid pickup for the year, obviously. I mean, I don't really do a lot of bait shoes just because they, they pump out high volume, and uh, I don't typically agree with their scheme sometimes, so I kind of leave them alone, but these were definitely, definitely dope, and I do love the Hannon, so I was like, why not have another pair that's uh, in that same color scheme? So, like I was saying before, hope you guys like the review. Uh, always... Love those thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, please do so now. I'm sure there's a little picture going while I'm talking. If you want to screenshot it and, uh, you know, go hit up to Snapchat or the Instagram. I'll be doing the, uh, the Kith RF Diodora for the Soul to Rio pack this weekend. I'll probably vlog it as well, but it'll be up on the Snapchat. I do have a photographer coming out, so I'll probably be getting a lot of footage of that. So you guys will get a nice little insight to what goes on there. And uh, I'm going to try and get some more of the camp out stuff on the vlog as well. But anyway, if you haven't already, like I said before, subscribe. And uh, I think that's enough talking for today. Peace. Wait a minute. Is that Perforation 3M? Yeah, it is. Oh, adds up to the review. The preparation on the toe box is 3M. Chillin'. The whole thing 3M? The whole shit is 3M. Dope. Ten bands, fifty bands, hundred bands, fuck it, man. Let's just not even discuss it, man. OMG, nigga sleep.